Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different Well YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all is surely coming to you for sure. And if this is your first, second, or third time or more to my YouTube channel, you guys, welcome. Happy to have you. Before you leave, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Different Well and you come and learn about your girl. And speaking of coming and learn about your girl, I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through products and services in which educates, entertains, and inspire you guys all at the same time. So again, first, second, or third time, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for your girl, yeah? All right, you guys, getting right into it. It's Sunday. A happy uh, Sunday for you guys. Fun day, they say. Um, on Sundays, you guys know we drop our spiritual motivation or inspiration content for those out there who walks with Christ, who believe in Christ, those Christians, uh, um, for those like myself are, are spiritual beings. I don't claim a religion, but I, I definitely believe in the higher power that's known as God. And so this is for you guys out there uh, Sundays, you know, want to uplift you guys. And so with this one, uh, we're going to title it Walking by Faith and Not by Sight, as it says in the scriptures, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Uh, when we're going through and so with that you know it goes and ties when it comes to going after your goals and your dreams and you being motivated to do so you have to remember for those who are walking with Christ who believe in Christ and you know consider themselves Christians or spiritual beings you have to know that with all without anything else if you don't have nothing you have to have faith even if it's just the size of a mustard seed in it <clears throat> excuse me even if it's just the size of a mustard seed that's all you need to get the job done but for me over time um, I've realized how good and, and big my faith has got and has has strengthened over time as I've gone and matured and with my walk in Christ and, and don't get me wrong at times I do get weary I do get doubtful and, and that's okay if you do even God excuse me even the son of man Jesus when he was up on that cross he cried out you know Eloi Eloi why haven't you forsaken me you know and so it's okay at times to get doubtful and get down and out but at times you know when it gets the hardest you just have to remember to keep the faith and keep walking by faith and not by sight and what that basically means is something that's not there even though you don't you can't see it, you can't touch it, you can't smell it but you believe it you feel it you know that it's coming you know for instance for me when it comes to reaching my goals and dreams, you know, the, one of the immediate goals that I have uh, is to get on the Rolling Martin Unfiltered podcast and promote myself and, and gain some exposure. And so it hasn't happened yet. You know, I keep sending them emails and messages, you know, uh, and I'm going to continue to do so because I have faith that one day I will end up on the Rolling Martin Unfiltered podcast. And, you know, that'll be, for me, I believe, one of the big breaks because, uh, as I stated before, when you go, when you celebrate, right now when you tolerate that's where you know you'll you'll find yourself with the target audience that you need and so I'm going to keep building and keep walking by faith and not by sight until I get there and also don't forget you guys even though it's it's it's, it's a must as you're walking through Christ to keep the faith also remember faith without work is dead and so you can have all the faith that you want but if you don't get up and get out and go get it then basically your faith is dead. And so when you're walking by faith and, and not leading by sight, you also have to remember to keep putting in that work and knowing that your hard work is going to pay off your faith in yourself and in God. It will, whatever you're manifesting, planning, and preparing for, it will come to pass. And so always, always, you guys, keep the faith and walk by faith and not by sight. And, and with that, uh, you guys know when it comes to motivation and, and, and preaching a word, if you will, you, I believe you need to hear from more than one person. So with that being said, you guys, check out this dope inspirational video I found from Above Inspiration talking about walking by faith and, and how it, it helps to build, you know, into, you know, your faith and builds you up as a, a spiritual being. And so without further ado and me popping my chops, <laughs> check it out. If I should ask you, are you walking in faith or are you walking by sight? How would you answer that? Do you walk according to the will and purpose and plan of God for your life? Are you just walking, trusting, and hoping things will turn out? 
God wants us to walk trusting Him for every single thing. And that is, He desires that you and I walk by faith. We either walk by faith or by sight. Most people, they got to see it to believe it. I think all of us have moments in life when we want to hear God's voice or receive some definite sign from Him regarding a relationship, perhaps a pending marriage, a business decision, a career choice, uh, or a major expenditure. You know, our decisions really matter. We make decisions, our decisions turn around and make us. And we face so many questions throughout all of our lifetime, like, how about, should I get married? If the answer is yes, who should I marry? Should I go to college? I've got a good job. Should I take the new job? Should I just hold on to the one I have? Is there any way to be 100% certain about God's will when you're making a major choice in life or a college? But remember, we walk by faith, not by sight. And I want to say to you, you are not going to get 100% assurance and confidence before you make a choice because it would require zero faith. We pray about it, we wait on the Lord, and then we make our choice. We believe what we don't see. That's what faith is. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Once you see, then you don't need faith anymore. Faith means you have it in your heart before you have it in your circumstance. But it really can be just as good as having it if you really trust and believe God. You have to take the plunge. You have to make the choice. Go ahead and make the best decision you can make. And when you've done that, leave the results to God because God's purpose will stand. And if yours are not, He will correct it, He will redeem it, and He will still keep you on the right path to your future destiny and will not forsake you. He wants you to know His will more than you want to know it. And I think one of the reasons that people live out of the will of God is they're not willing to take the first step. God will say something and God will speak to them. People say, and I hear people tell me this all the time, well, God doesn't speak to me. Yes, He does. You may not be listening, but He does. God doesn't play favorites. He loves us all. But sometimes he'll require us something that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. If I'm going to follow the Lord, I've got to be willing to listen to him, and I've got to be willing to trust him when I don't understand it. You may have some things you don't understand. You can't figure out. You don't see the answer. That's okay. You don't have to see it. This is a key to faith, trusting when you don't understand, trusting when you don't have the answers trusting when it seems like just the opposite of what you were hoping for. Quit worrying about those things you can't figure out. God has you in the palm of his hand. I know not how this is going to work out, but I do know who's on the throne. I do know who's directing our steps. I do know who's planned out our days. Before you were ever born, God pondered plans he had for you. Before there was even a single day to your existence. And he established your purpose before you were ever created in your mother's womb. They were actually recorded or written in his book. God has plans for me. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, the New Living Translation reads, God says, for I know the plans. I know them. I know the plans, plural. So he must have some plans, plural ones. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and to give you a hope. So God has great plans for you. He promises that his plans for your destiny are only good ones. No disasters are planned for you by God. He hasn't written down on this occasion when they're 35, 40 years old, I'm gonna get them. None of that. No, his plans are only good and they're only 
filled with grace and hope. You're not God. He is. I think that is really comforting to know. You know, there is a God, and it ain't me. And I'm, that's why I'm hanging on to Him and trusting Him. I think what happens is that we forget that He is in control of the life I gave Him. I do want to make good choices, but I'm a limited human being. I can't see the future, but I can, I've got scripture, I've got prayer, I've got wise people, and then you've got a peace in your heart, and at the end of the day, I have to do that and trust God. And I have to believe, regardless of what happens, He will orchestrate my life, and I'll end up where I'm supposed to be, doing what I'm supposed to do. I don't have to obsess, hyperventilate, or control everyone and everything around me. I don't have to worry about the minutia, the little miniature things of life. I can be, have confidence that this God is going to take care of everything. You know, you can sleep well once you realize God's in control of your life. I don't like everything. I don't understand everything, just like you. But I do know He's in control. And I know no human being energized by Satan, not even Satan himself, can stop the purpose of God for your life or mine. And, and here's what I've noticed. Even if you trust God and make a mistake, if you genuinely make a mistake, God has the most awesome ways of correcting that mistake. He knows your heart. He knows you're willing to do what He requires of you. And God knows better than we do that some things He requires of us is very difficult. But the question is, are you listening? And secondly, are you trusting that whatever He says for you to do, that you're to do? Abraham, and I'm glad this is in the Bible, he made some wrong choices. But God didn't stop blessing him. And he didn't cast him aside. Listen, before God ever created anything in this life, he knew that his finest children would make mistakes. They would sin against him. They would disobey him. Because living in the world in which you and I live in, that we, we make mistakes. There are times of weakness, there are times of failure. And God forgives and He keeps moving us. He can put you exactly where He wants you to be. He can arrange all the details of your life years in advance. He can open doors that seem shut tight. He can remove any obstacle that stands in your way. He can take your choices and fit them into His plan so you end up at the right place at the right time. He can even take your mistakes and bring good out of them. Don't forget, He's our Redeemer. He redeems things. He can take tragedy and use it for your good and His glory. All He needs is a willing heart, just someone to reasonably cooperate. This doesn't mean you won't have to make difficult and hard choices. You will. But it takes the pressure off because it means you can trust God to take your decisions, your choices, and use them to accomplish His will in your life. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. The steps of a good man are ordered or directed by the Lord. Even when you don't know what the heck's going on, He's directing them. Lay your head on your pillow knowing Dad's up. He's in charge, and He's going to govern the affairs of your life. If He shuts the door and opens the door, He's just directing you. It's going to be all right. God loves you so much, and He's got such a great, blessed, wonderful life for you. Hear me, God has plans for you. They're awesome plans. You have not maxed out your potential. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed listening and watching that uh, inspirational vlog from Above Inspiration. It was titled, uh, what is it titled again? Trust in God even when you don't understand. So basically still walking by faith and not by sight, even when you don't understand what's going on, what's happening to you, why it's happening to you, keep the faith in God and that he will get you through it. And whatever that's going that's going on in your life at this time in, 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 in your journey, like I said before, Jeremiah 29, 11 states, you know, for the Lord's plans for you are not to harm you, but for good. And so whatever you are going through, keep striving for it and keep pushing through it and keep the faith. As well as you guys, don't forget to check out Above Inspiration. You know, I like to give credit to where it's due. Uh, be sure to check them out. I put their link below. So um, whenever you guys get through watching my vlog and you subscribe to mine, go check them out, you guys. And also remember, you know, when it comes to us being spiritual beings, you have to stay prayed up. You gotta pray, meditate, 
You know, although that negative adversity may come towards you, don't let it affect you. And even if it does affect you, you can take back your power and your control by reprogramming your mind and turning to the Lord in your time of need. And so don't forget, walk by faith and not by sight when it comes to reaching your dreams and goals. And also, don't forget as well, faith without work is dead. I think that's probably going to be my next topic for next Sunday's inspiration to uh, faith without work is dead. And so if you guys like what I'm talking about, this vlog, and you enjoyed it, you definitely guys be sure to show me by liking, sharing, comment, and definitely subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Uh, please keep it coming and don't stop, you guys. Uh, and moving right along uh, with a different train agenda. What else we got going? Don't forget, you guys, be sure to check out my website, differenceworld.net. Check out all my other social media handles, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm sorry, I'm not on Facebook anymore. <laughs> my Instagram, Twitter, um, TikTok, as well as my YouTube channel, as well as you guys can book me for any type of motivational speaking events you'd like for me to be a part of or any podcasts, interviews you want me to uh, come and join, or group, grassroots conversations. You just go to my website, differenceworld.net, and you book your girl there, yeah? <laughs> all right. Also on differenceworld.net, don't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is available for you guys. You can get your copy there. Again, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift is a book that's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And it's done through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, be advised, if you uh, can't take the heat, I say still come on to the kitchen uh, <laughs> because that's the point of it all is to have these conversations that needs to be had. You know, people like to sweep under the rug or turn a blind eye to it. It's my theory that when we have these conversations constantly and consistently, then that is where we can see or create systemic change. So again, be advised, it's sensitive Content is intended for mature audience, but for those who steady, you know, still, you know, a little skeptic about it, still come onto the table and, and taste and see what it is that I'm talking about. It's more than you know, pushing people buttons or rubbing them the wrong way. It's about unity, acknowledgement, accountability, and coming together as one. So again, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Okay. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that I am getting. Those that are buying the books, you know, leaving me reviews on Amazon. I, I appreciate it. Please keep it coming and, and don't stop. And so, uh, and moving right along, you guys. What else we got going on? Uh, let's see. Tomorrow's Monday. So, you know, on Monday we drop our motivational content. So be on the lookout for that, you guys. I don't know what topic I'll be talking about. So uh, that's why you guys got to hit that notification bell. So when I drop the content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn about your girl and what I'm talking about, what I'm bringing to society for you guys. And um, uh, again, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for me. All right. Uh, what else we got? Lastly, but most importantly <laughs> on the Difference World agenda, we have our mental health check. And that, it, it goes into with anybody out there that's going through any type of mental anguish and struggles, you know, illness, whatever you want to call it. Uh, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but do not sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever that may mean to you. Talking with a therapist, a family member, a pastor, a friend, you know, getting involved with your community, picking up new habits, dropping old habits, or bad habits, if you will. Whatever the case may be for you to keep your mental health in check and not go off the deep end as possibly taking anybody with you, do it. If you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741 and for those that would prefer you can go online to mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org and for those that are outside of the U.S. and like watching your girl's YouTube channel you guys can check out incounseling.com and that's spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G dot com Lastly, you guys, also remember, although I am giving you these mental health resources, it is on you to do your own homework and research and find what works for best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. 
as well as whatever you are going through, whatever trial and tribulation that you may be experiencing right now in your life, please know that this too shall pass and you will get through it. So whatever it is that got you feeling like you should go off the deep end, don't because it's not worth it, okay? So and close out of mental health let's end it on a positive note and keep it moving with a different train you guys again i truly enjoy you know all the love and support that i am getting please keep it coming uh, guys i hope you enjoy listening and watching uh, my message for today as well as that above uh, excuse me that, that inspirational message from above inspiration be sure to check them out again you guys as well and if you guys like again the con the content that i'm bringing you guys be sure to show me you know liking sharing comment and subscribing hitting that notification bell it all works the same you guys and i do appreciate it keep it coming so with that being said anybody out there that's going for their dreams and goals in life remember you have to walk by faith and not by sight and when you're doing that you manifest plan and prepare for it and then whatever it is in life that you're feeling you're destined for it will surely come to you difference will come and learn Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author different. Go to differenceworld.net.